no way I'm tripping. All right, so what's up? What's up? We got to test this out. You know, we got a new, a new, a new laptop. We got something a little better, so the quality of the the video should be a little better. Everything's going good. Everything's going faster. Uh, took me a while. So, right here we got we got your boy DJ Khaled. A brief intro. Again, this is the. This is on a new laptop. I'm just gonna test this out, see see how this works for now. Uh let's let's go over DJ Khaled. So DJ Khaled is the only DJ in a rap game that can make albums and put everybody together on songs. He's he didn't he didn't he he's worked with everybody, so for me to go over the feature list is crazy. So let's go over the albums. We got We The Best. Just like he says, this is his first album, 2007. Everybody was low-key fucking with this. Then we got Global. We Global. 2008. See, so he drops albums every year or so. Oh, he came up. He came up off of Rick Ross and Wayne. Uh, Wayne, Wayne used to be, what Wayne did was interesting because Wayne first was in, um, Louisiana. Well, Wayne's from Louisiana. So he came up from Birdman's, he came up from Birdman. Then he went to New York. A lot of people don't, a lot of people don't say this because I was just watching this Carcino video where he was saying, um, he was, he was basically saying that, um, the East Coast the East Coast didn't follow the, the, the East Coast rappers. Yeah, because Wayne went Wayne was in New York. By time around the Carter Three, Wayne, Wayne was in New York. And um after he got caught with that charge after the Carter Three and had to spend a year in jail just for having some guns, he decided to go to Miami. And um this is around the same time DJ Khaled is starting to come up. So Wayne is responsible for bringing the South, the South style to the down South style to New York. And then he brought it to Miami and DJ Khaled, Rick Ross and Wayne started working together. You can just connect those dots if you're a hip hop head. So he took a two year break. He got his third album, Victory. Oh, wait, I forgot to go. Let's go back and go over the singles. So the singles on here is Taken Over, Brown Paper Bag, I Think So, and So Hood. Yep. Taken Over was huge. Taken Over was, was huge. And So Hood, too. So Hood. So Hood is a huge joint. So we got Global. Where are the singles on here? Grinding. Grinding hard. Grinding the harder singles on here. The two big singles. So now we're back to victory. All I do is win. Everybody knows that song. Um, Wasn't there one with Drake on here? Or is that the next one? Oh yeah, Fed Up. Yeah, Drake's on here, 2010. I think Hands Up with one too. Hands Up didn't do that. Didn't have that much of an impact. Fed Up and All I Do Is Win for the two hits on this one. So DJ Cal is getting a little better. You know, we the best forever. He's 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 you know he's getting up there. He's becoming more prominent. So now we got I'm on one. My hood instead of so hood, and there's a remix pretty much. It's usually the first two songs, the first two songs on the album. And then we got Kiss the Ring. Oh, see, DJ Khaled flossing right now. <laughs> so we got uh, 
I think bitches in bottles and wish you would. Oh, and take it to the head. Yeah, but see, it's, it's a pattern here. It's There's usually an intro, sometimes there's not. It's usually the first three, first two or first three songs. But he works with everybody. I'm definitely not going over the features. That's that's a whole other video in itself. Uh, so now we got Seth from Success. He said he said he was in love with Nikki. It was all for promo, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to go too much into that. So what were the singles on this one? Oh, that's the ninth song. So we got No New Friends. Never Surrender, that's my joint right there. Hell's Kitchen, J. Cole went in. I think Be With You is a single too. So, Be With You, No New Friends, and Never Surrender. And then, whew, by the time DJ, DJ Khaled got to this point, the beats got a lot better. Everything was getting a lot better. I think he took a two-year break. Because we're used to him coming out every year. But he took a two-year break, and then he said, I changed a lot. And yeah, the motherfucker changed a lot. The beats are a lot more entertaining. They're not simple or basic. They got more bass. There's HD. It's, it feels like it's like HD sound or some shit. And Jay-Z finally gives him a cosign. So, the singles was Gold Slugs, Gold Slugs, my joint, um, Hold You Down, I think, I think, I think how many times, I think there's a video for how many times, I would say the two ones are Gold Slugs and Hold You Down. So, now we got Major Key. Here we go. DJ Khaled is a Snapchat influencer now. He's bigger than ever. He's at his peak. You know, he comes up with major key, major key alert. That's his thing. He's huge at this point. All right. So we got the keys with Jay-Z and Future. We got Jay-Z, Drake, Future. Those are the three biggest artists in the fucking game. And then you got Nas, a fucking legend. Then you got Kendrick Lamar and Big Sean on a joint when they were supposed to be beefing. Then you got Jake. Holy shit. The features just on here is crazy. J. Cole and J.I.D. Then you got the rest, the rest of the artists. Um, where are the singles? The keys and for free. Oh, then we got Grateful. He got his son. He had a new. He has a new son right now. So this is a huge. He's so big. He just dropped like twenty four different songs. I think it's twenty three. I added one. Um, at this point, he's with the biggest names in the game. Um, he can work with anybody. Rihanna, Justin Bieber, Lil Wayne, Jay Z, Beyonce. Beyonce co-signed this motherfucker. Everybody who's everybody's on this album. Everybody. Party Next Door, everybody. And then he did Father of Sod. Um, at first I didn't like this album, but now I'm looking at it, I'm like, I can I can deal with it, you know. It's it's okay, but I was waiting for this album, too. He took another two-year break. I think he's going to take another two-year break. See, probably DJ Cal is probably going to be falling back now. Oh, he got a Nipsey Hustle feature on here. Rest in peace, Nipsey. But, yep, that's DJ Khaled. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh I don't want to forget anything. I think um, people are curious as to what DJ Khaled does. He just he puts the songs together. He doesn't necessarily make the beats. He tweaks them. He might tweak them. 
and he just he's just a DJ. He puts songs together that normally wouldn't be put together. So that's the best way to to explain DJ Khaled. But anyway, peace.